Hello guys, so I went out from the car because it's so hot but then I just want to share with you guys the sermon this is a sermon reflection from Hope of the City Church um, from last Sunday the title is The Fest so Pastor Rich um, shared the story of Abraham how great Abraham's faith to God so if you guys are ready, let's start so big idea our test is strengthen our faith in god so guys in genesis you will see if you read the story of abraham you will see how abraham how god told abraham to sacrifice his son and abraham is so willing to do it it is because he trusted the living god because he knows that god doesn't want harm for people but to give hope to give to prosper people god trust uh abraham trusted the living god to his to his son isaac so pastor said that our test has two purposes you know our test in life has two purposes and number one evaluate growth and number two develop trustworthiness like what i'm saying abraham trusted god with his one with his son with his son Isaac. So Pastor gave um, three key points. In key point number one, the, he, he immediately obeyed God. So in verse three, Abraham's checklist. You know, remember your faith is validated through your actions. So a word like a word that it that doesn't driven by love and faith, it is nothing. I always believe that because I've been meditating in 1 Corinthians 13 and, you know, God gave me wisdom about love and faith to Him. And it is so very important that your love and your faith should show in your action. Just like what it says in James 2, verse 17 to 18, that a faith not accompanied by actions is dead. So that's um, what I'm saying, that if you don't put your faith in your your faith into your action or your love into the action then it, it's nothing it's dead you know john 10 verse 27 my sheep knows my voice and they follow me you know that's how god um that's how we will know jesus because we already know how god works in our life and if we know how god works in our life we're gonna be the living testimony guys and it's just so sad that some people of course they haven't seen the, the glory, the miracles, how amazing God is. And, you know, no matter how we we try to tell them, if it is, doesn't hit their heart yet, then, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to work. Only the Holy Spirit can work in their heart, you know, so to develop their faith, you know, through the actions, like what Pastor said. Also, Pastor said that we cannot hear the audible voice of God right now because, God's voice is already written in the Bible. It's you know, it's the words are already in the Bible. All they have to do, pray to God, give us wisdom before we read the Bible, and you know that like that. That's why a lot of um um you know pastors or everyone will tell you, will give you encouragement. Always open up your Bibles, read your Bible, because guys, you will find all the answers in the Bible. If you have life questions. Talk to God, guys. Talk to God and open up your Bible, you know. Ask wisdom and the Lord, surely, guys, will show it to you. The Lord will reveal himself to you if you will seek him. And that's where you're going to build up your faith with the Lord because God will reveal himself to you. Key point number two, he worshiped God, you know. That's an act of worship. Worship is not only through songs, you know. Worship is through your actions, you know. Like Pastor said, Worship is surrendering to God that is valuable to you. You don't give God what is only le what is left. You know, you give God what is the best. Like what I learned, you know, along with this sermon, um, that week I have watched Cain and, and Abel, you know, the son of um, Eva and Adan. And so God um, uh, favored Abel's offering because Abel gave his best the best um sheep that he had you know her his first fruit Every, so you know that is uh pleasing aroma with the lord so you know he valued that uh, he favored that like Abel, like Abel is 
And that is very valuable to Abel, and we offer it for the Lord. So, if we ask ourselves, what are the things that we are able to let go for to God? You know, we talk to God, guys. You know, God is so merciful and graceful, and He knows the things that we are cap- capable of giving and not. But, you know, guys, if the Lord is so generous to us, let's probably let's be let's copy how the generosity of God. You know. You know, let's give our very best to God. We don't give God our extra time. Give God your time. You don't give God your, oh, I have extra money, I'll give it to the Lord. No, you give God the best, you know. You know what we need to practice is we don't hesitate when it comes to the Lord because the Lord never hesitates to shower you blessings, guys. So, same for us as humans. We are here to read the scripture. We are here to serve the Lord, okay, not for ourselves. You know, God gave His only Son, Jesus, to us, and that's so valuable to Him. So, same as Abraham, when, you know, his, when God asked for His Son, but of course, God didn't let um, Abraham hurt His Son. God is just testing His faith. You know, when God sees that to Abraham, that he's, He wants it, He's willing to give his, his Son, you know, that's valuable to Him, that He loves to the Lord, God um, gave, God gave, uh, animal instead it's a ram okay it is a ram well let me double check it i think it's a ram yes it was a ram it is not a lamb okay we will you will know why it is a ram and it's not a lamb it is because it's going to be on a key point number three key point number three is to clear your faith for your words so you know pastor said remember anything is anything too hard for the lord Oh, that's in the verse, Genesis 18, verse 17. When we declare our faith to God, it brings honor to God. If you're a bishop, it brings honor to the Lord, guys. In Mark 5, verse 36, don't be afraid. Just just have faith. You know, there's a lot of um, in scriptures saying about faith. You can, this is a countless, uh, uh, you can, uh, a lot of words, uh, uh, and a lot of meaning about faith to God. It's in the scripture. Also, Pastor mentioned it was wasn't only Abraham who you know um, experienced the testing. Also, with Ab- with um, A- Isaac, because Isaac, you, what's his feeling that time? Anxiety, fear, everything. You know, is being tested too. It's not only Abraham; it's Isaac as well. You know, imagine how, the feeling of Isaac feeling right there. You know, in Proverbs three verse five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. That scripture is timeless, guys. So this is the reason why it was a ram and not a lamb. Because, because in the same place where Abraham sacrificed his son Isaac, is the same place where the lamb, the precious blood of the lamb, Jesus, died for our sin. It, is, it was the same place, guys. It is a ram and not a lamb because the lamb symbolizes Jesus that will be next sacrifice after Isaac. So, guys, Jesus is the lamb that God sacrificed for us. God valued and loved his one and only son, Jesus. But he, you know, is so painful for a Imagine a parent to, to kids, right? That's how painful the Lord is feeling when He brought down Jesus to us. So, to save us, to give us salvation, you know, God saves. Jesus saves, guys. If you call on the name of Jesus, Jesus will answer you. Jesus, you know, I don't know what else to explain to you guys, but there is power in the name of Jesus, guys. And I... It already happened in my, I have so many experience with that one. So, you know, God gave us the best, guys. So for us, we should practice to give our best to God. Not only because, you know, we just have an extra. We are here for the Lord and we are not here for ourselves. So, upon this um video, I'm going to post the link for um sermon for the sermon. And please... Visit Hope of the City Church. 
we have in the website and facebook and youtube for more encouragement and sermons so that's it for today guys i hope you did learn something about testing our faith there's so many stories in the bible about testing our faith but this one is one of the greatest you know because you know you're giving not only what you have but you're giving the best and valuable for your life for god so god bless you and be safe